We are the Clumsy Women Creeping Forward. Um, we did a series of prayers and responses to prayers. Uh, I'm Katie, this is Ashley, and this is Turner, and Ali made a beautiful prayer rug, um, which is right over there, which I encourage you guys all to visit at some point. Prayer one, to sing with hands. Blessed is the ax that produces planets. So perish palm into this image, into this unsafe hand, this song to locate seed tender to sensation, unto, unto, dexterity upon, upon. Blessed is the briefest, briefest bright logic pleading thirst to spirit for, the holy scattering of a single seed. This slaughter of self now reigns my zeal, unto, unto, dexterity, upon, upon. Blessed be, they say, sick transit, unfading fall the seed inside of sheep. So now I pray, I pray, I pray unto myself in anchored roar, a steadfast pilot and sublime I am, contented upon, upon it, and it cry out. The axe produces peaceful fruit by glory magnified. The unexalted known recovered a new planet, and then to touch and name, cry out. Prayer one response. An un in you is dawning. A jellyfish. Sickles of cilia. Scrub of scrum. A sicket sacred. See through of cilia. Streaming limbs. Creaming and arming unarmed. An orbital. An unliquid. Orb. Light bit. Sift. Fertile. Sea. Nut uncracked of this liquid lingual, auger tongue citizen, recovered in a covering. The eel shifts in and out of sight, and in and out and in and out. Prayer two. You find yourself crossing a thickening afternoon. You find yourself crossing a thickening afternoon. As in prelude. As in junction lies a stone outcropping where shape dissolves sublingually as lozenge. As long and wide as days is stretched across this green grass inland, dissolve often. As catnaps, hands held across eyes for keeping out the sun as it was all the time, and everywhere the afternoon is thickening. The moss cleaving as a calf, the prospects drawing as in curtains, as heavy as a head, as foxgloves bow and other buds that smell of inside of thickening. Prayer two, response, the moss cleaving. I submit myself to cleaveth. She compasses me strong, but my vex is very sore. Ah, tremble from the kindle, Salah. There is no dwell in safety because my tongue outcrops every assembly of inner mirth of harbor, multitude of thy mercy. My bones are out of joint. I tell all my bones about a bed for swimming. I tell all my bones I find a person upright to suffer. She puffeth secretly into the maker's net, a single set of flailing lips commissioned from who shall declare the last swallow evermore? Who? Who, handling an inhabit to deliver a fat new planet unto a sword already satisfied, and shooken, shooken, who, whose fire out if the flame is lonely or no language will build a tabernacle for the bright swallow to store, or the she must unborn my shadow's sake. Prayer three. To sing with teeth laid bare against a darkness of your own making. Dwell in your own mouth. Its heart is not established nor host to whoever you think lordeth, over which wet light. Your light. You must ferret from who am I to be afraid. You are. Neither gum nor salient is the silence you supplicate for whose voice fingers lips for flapping. You may rejoice it. Only once and then again upon the waters of your own yeah. Sing yeah. Is the helper house crying out now too? Is your tongue assembling its own chimes and peals now too? Have you found profit in your own spit? Spend this spit with the grief you spent sighing toothless from. Who am I really but your grief maker? Immolate me, yeah. Be redeemed by the dead chops. Of your own sad, yeah. Sing yeah. Prayer three response. With teeth laid bare against the darkness of my making, 
I disappear into a crowd that heralds its own destruction. Ungladly protest. Ungladly I protest. I would be swallowed, the maw below looks deep, and mine with hooking lips. I rest myself. Sift others' thoughts from mine. But tiny teeth have deeply set, and in this garden winds are weighted. Across an empty place, nothing but net, a theory of weaving. Clip contingencies with stainless blades. Only you can feel the fires burning in the mountains to the west. I see them in my sleep. With vigorous legs, pitch swing back over top the playset. I've heard this before. A moment when nothing mattered was pre was prelapsed, where every line I write begins from the beginning. Prayer for the unkind self. I have not a tingling symbol. I am the calmest sounding. Though I speak with tongues of brass and stir many mountains, I am body to be husked, or, or to become a sounding. How I bestow, and though I give, and long, and though puffed up unseemly, I am become as nothing. To bear a layered thing in bearing, to become a sounding. As a bullet point of vision, professed in part in 113, as in a way of looking, and, and I am become as sounding. Whether there be tongues, and whether they shall cease, and whether this shall wash away, I have no inkling, have no becoming, but I have, a, I am a sounding. The wasp is building, we know in part, and we shall know. A regular beneath, a, a grammar colored skin. Listen as the wasp a sounding. Prayer for response. I got the sounds from a sounding. I got the sounds, the, the sounds, sounds and am as becoming. They thirsteth from my own shaken, and shaketh lives inside my divided head, where sounds reach out from drinking the big fat shadows portioned from my foxing hands, who handle the swearing hard and then harder after my own cry. A secret counsel, the shell of sonic, glory wisely now, tongue as if sword. My head holds sword, and sword cross-legged. In morrow, heavy shadow, the tumult of headless tonsils and flock trespasses. And so the sounds, this multitude of its huge tender, diction fangs, and, and syntax molars, shape, O oh, hungry, are my prey, that I deposit to some spirit bed, and soundless be all you horizontal there. Prayer 5. When the mouth is a snout, sing yeah. Bring hither forth your single snout for snouting. What strange snout? Inside a wide hearken for the voice submits. Unquiet and vague the speaker of your speech, of your satellite body. A soul so lengthy, she is anointed in her own stretch and scope. A long gale for spinning in route to thyself. Thyself, a clean snout directed at the light. Mercy is trouble crowded against the teeth. Inside your snout, a great snot, made of mercy. Make mercy from your teeth against the sun. Yank those strings, or, fear pressed onto language, so taut it serves no one, not even mother, or your breeze has been shot. These instruments are all shut up, called daily upon the stretches of your daily fingers. You place your hands up in my trap, a soft search, in deep affliction, salab and then pinky, the mouth fondly, darkness no longer cast for the round face of hidden first. The hired hand is yours, against a hot cheek pressed into the sun. Prayer 5 response. I found a duckling gone astray and took it in, soaked crust meals thrice daily. A quarter moon in and my fox eats it, waxing. The floor is clear but for a peach fuzz sheen of down, and there the fox is licking, looking ducky. When I come to you, I am saying it's a pure blind communist robbery. I get sick and can't speak. To avoid suspicion and unpopularity, I cleave disorders of my own, anxieties of attachment, knit loops of my anatomy. Diseased, I am bisection, a lit institutionally from beneath and behind, a most unflattering parade of visceral, the gutters of my fingernails. This snout is clean and cleaning. This snout is clean and cleaning. Seen by the lens of desire thrice redacted, I do regret the epithet. It's like I hate you, but I want to buy it anyway. I'm nothing. I'm knitting. It turns out nothing matters when you're weightless. This is our final prayer. The Clumsy Woman. 
A clumsy woman lies on the ground at last gasp to speak seriously but in grand style of discouraged matters. Women, Women of the world know this. All great things have first to wander the earth as enormous errors. Errors amorous. Is this the terrible trouble, the extremely serious? I say to double woe, broil rubble, to marble grammar, garble the personal, inhabit excess, embody the all too woman, that is, to brew a healthier hemlock nightmare freely, do it doggy style in reverse. A clumsy woman gags, but in grand style upon a clod of dirt. Women of the world know this. I am seriously opposed to the reproduction of erotophobia, her love eruption as erosion. Body one pattern among many, nearly marbled, invite sensorium to quit lotion, detach breasts from those toxicities that bind, hie thee to another fruited island, embrace a free fall disenchantment. A clumsy woman swallows in a style less grand than before. Women, world, I am out of sorts. I have merged infidelities, sexual partners, suggestive angles, lamented loosely, straddled decisively, spun a while in the quietude of my own room, sought not in the eyes of dogs, spurned those holes to nothing. A door is built at the top of the stairs to a house that is no longer there. See how mice are mounting, see how mice are mounting. Last gasp. Thus supposed a woman, what then? Final prayer response. The final gag. At last grasp a glue kisser. A glue kisser. A glue kisser. In the courts of behold, no God. No God. No God. I am a double woe, balking backward. Fresh oil horns the shelf flourish, and a righteousness in me thawed to nightmare your freely. I have grown in my own fat and flourishing freely. Love erupted a long-standing joke of two clumsy women. He or who is our rock? I am doing thee the fool who really gets my fruits. Thigh slappers marbled nor made of this new age. Reigneth my crazy bananas now. My merged suggestives, my lamented loose leaves. For the straddled waters swelling dry land for he's or who's access. If there is opposition, let it bow down in my palms. I am yoking that ova into her open offering. A fullness forecasting. A look at and a see it, I will slander out. Walking on water in nested bread sandals thronged with a good. A good to be glad in my left footed awkward. That sends forward reveries to fist after who's uncoordinated fish. These medicinal leeches make us no darkness, no darkness, for the clumsy women creepeth forward to sluice a sliced meat from themselves only to sing ya, yeah. sing ya, yeah. hi out, gag forward to favor the sour tip of your own tongue, no darkness, no darkness, for the clumsy women creepeth forward to sluice a sliced meat from themselves only to sing ya, yeah. sing ya, yeah. hi out, gag forward to favor the sour tip of your own tongue, no darkness, no darkness. For the clumsy women creepeth forward to sluice the sliced meat from themselves only to sing ya, sing ya, cry out, gag forward to favor the sour tip of your own tongue.